we shall begin our discussions about measures of relative position. We shall devote three or four videos for this topic, but we shall begin with the z-score. What is the z-score? So the z-score is a measure of, of the position of a data value in relation to another. But before we go there, let us introduce the meaning of normal distribution. What does normal distribution mean? What does it mean when a data set is said to follow a normal distribution? Well, it's something like this. A data set follows a normal distribution when, when its frequency distribution, so imagine the histogram, the bar chart, the bar chart that you produce to produce the frequency distribution. If that takes the shape of a perfect bell curve or something that is close to a bell curve, then then that data set has a normal distribution. So it's something like this. You have done this before. This is what you call the histogram. So the z-score is a measure of relative position, the position of a data value in relation to what? So whenever you use the z-score to measure, to measure the position of a data value in relation to something else, you are assuming that your data value follows a normal distribution. I said that the z-score of a data value is the measure of the position of a data value in relation to something else. What is that something else? For z-score, that point of reference is the mean or the median. So let's say, for example, this is the frequency distribution of your data set. So the point of reference, which is the mean or median of your data set, is given a is given a z score and its z score is zero. The z score of the mean or the median is zero. So zero is the reference point here. So for example, this is our uh, distribution of our data set and it follows the normal distribution. You can look at the z scores as numbers in our real number line, and zero is the origin. So let us use the real number line to plot our z-scores and interpret their meaning. So our reference point is the mean and we shall give it a z-score of 0. The rest of the data values in your data set can take on a z-score of 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and also a number with a decimal part. The z-score of, of a data value can be 1.5, 1.3, so on and so forth. So again, 0, the z-score of 0 is the mean. That is our reference point. The z-score measures the position of a data value in relation to the mean. And this score is measured in terms of standard deviation. If the z-score of a data value, for example, is 1, that means our data value is one standard deviation above the mean. If a data value has a z-score of negative 1.5, okay, negative 1.5, it's about here. That means that data value is 1.5 standard deviations below the mean. Suppose an examination with 50 items is administered to all students who are taking up general mathematics and 25 out of 50 is considered the passing score. Okay, you are among the students who took this exam. Your teacher told you that your z-score is negative 1. Your z-score is negative 1. What does your z-score tell you? You fail the exam. Is this what your z-score of negative 1 tell you? You failed the exam? Well, actually, we do not know. Because negative 1 does not tell you your actual score. It is telling you your relative position in relation to the mean. We don't know the mean. We don't know the actual score of the mean. The z-score of the mean is 0. And because your z-score is negative 1, that means your score is one standard deviation below the mean score. But we don't know. We cannot tell right now if you fail the exam. You pass the exam. Is this one conclusion that we can get from the fact that 
your z-score is negative 1. No, the passing score is 25 and above. When your z-score is negative 1, it is possible you pass the exam. It is possible you, you fail the exam. Again, negative 1 is the measure of the position of your score in relation to the mean score. So we cannot be sure whether you fail the exam or you pass the exam. Your score in the exam is below the average score. Yes, that is true. If the z-score is negative 1, that means your score is below the average score in this examination. Your score in the exam is one standard deviation below the mean score. Again, that is yes. That is in fact more precise. It's not only that it is below the mean score, it is one standard deviation below the mean score. Letter E. Your exam is one point less than the average score in the class. No, there's no way of, uh, there's no way of knowing if, this, if that is true or not. No, that is not what your Z-score is telling you. We cannot tell. We cannot tell right away what is your actual score and how many points you are below the mean score. But what we are sure is whatever is the average score in this exam, your score is below the average score. And more precisely, your score is one standard deviation below the mean score.